TCL has announced their 6 series Roku TVs, they're all gonna be 8K. Today we're gonna be having a look at the TV section of CES 2021, what they have brought us, and see what's new is expected in 2021, what kind of new technologies they have showed there, and what are their plans for 2021 year, and what they're gonna bring next. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you find this video helpful and interesting, please click that like button. This is gonna help me a lot to grow my channel and I appreciate it very much. All right, without further ado, let's go get started. Let's go. And like you know, 8K resolution is not just double 4K, it's actually quadruple 4K. So you're gonna be getting resolution four times more than the 4K, which is gonna be amazing. And to actually process a picture with such huge amount of pixels, you're gonna need a really powerful processor. And this is what they introduced in these new TVs. There is not many details at the moment, but we're gonna know more later. So keep an eye on that if you're interested. But for now, let's have a look at what they have to offer in 4K. On top of raising the resolution for its flagship TVs, TCL also announced a new XL collection of the 85-inch screens. This is the first time TCL has put out sets this big, and the XL collection so far consists of an 85-inch 4-series TCL Roku TVs, 85-series 4K HDR TCL QLED, and 85-inch 8K Mini LED TCL TV. The 85-inch 4-series TCL Roku TV aims to be the most affordable big-screen TV at the price of $15.99 when it arrives within the first quarter of this year. For those looking for a higher quality HDR experience, the 85-inch 4K HDR TCL QLED Roku TV adds quantum dot color technology to deliver better brightness and wider color volume. Lastly, the 85-inch 8K TV is powered by a mini LED backlighting system. TCL also took this time to tease its third generation of mini LED backlight called OD0 mini LED technology that will be launched later this year. TCL was one of the first TV makers to put mini LED technology into the TVs last year. OD0 raises the bar by packing tens of thousands of mini LEDs to create thousands of contrast control zones. OD0 also reduces the distance between the mini LED backlight layer and the LCD display layer to 0 mm, so you get an unbelievably high brightness and deep contrast from an ultra slim display. Let's go ahead and take a look what Samsung has brought with their micro LED and this is a completely new technology that just came into the market since CES 2018 and Samsung's been working on it for a while so it's been like three years now but now they finally ready to actually sell it to the regular customers and those panels gonna be offered in 88 inch 99 inch 110 inch diagonal Samsung's micro LED TVs feature a 99.99% screen to body ratio so there's gonna be no bezel at all with the screen taking all the space as the name micro LED might suggest these TVs utilize much smaller LEDs they are self illuminating so they can produce perfect blacks and contrast like OLED. Of course, having a really big TV at home is great for simulating the movie theater experience, but you can also split any of these micro LEDs TV into four smaller displays. In fact, the 110 inch screen can become like a four neatly separated 55 inch displays that you can use to display different pictures. Of course, micro LED technology is still pretty fresh and as soon as manufacturing process is gonna be easier to make, then this screen is gonna become much cheaper and we might see those screens pretty soon, maybe within like two or three years we might see those screens already available on the market. I think this is how long it's gonna be taken and they're also gonna be implementing those screens on like cell phone or like a smartwatch. We're gonna see what's gonna be next. Samsung is also introducing a new generation of TVs called the Neo QLED. The company was the first one to introduce QLED 4K TVs with the quantum dot technology and now it's following up with the next generation. Neo QLED TVs feature an all new backlighting technology that uses smaller LEDs called quantum mini LED that also eliminate the need for a layer of lenses to capture and transmit backlight illumination. Now each compact quantum mini LED can also emit its own light similar to how OLED screen works. But since they're made of inorganic material, there is no chance of burning in. The smaller LED also allows more lights to be packed into the same space, resulting in more backlighting zones and even greater brightness. 
At the same time, the smaller LEDs offer a more finely controllable brightness and reduced bloom, resulting in higher contrast and deeper blacks. One other benefit of Quantum Mini LEDs, they are 1 40th of the height of a conventional LED, so Samsung will be able to reduce the thickness of its Neo LED TVs. Aside from the impressive new backlighting system, Samsung has fitted its Neo Q LED TVs with a new AI Quantum processor. This new chip can more quickly process 8K image upscaling and introduce object tracking sound that follows the action happening on the screen. Samsung's new Neo Q LED TVs also introduces two new gaming TV focused features. First up, Ultra Wide Game View is all about giving gamers the option of turning their TVs into an ultra wide 21x9 or even super ultra wide 32x9 display. Secondly, there is a new Game Boy UI that allows players to quickly change their aspect ratio, check input lag, and connect a gaming headset. The first TVs to get the Neo Q LED treatment include Samsung's flagship QN90A line. Additionally, Samsung has announced a new Neo Q LED QN900A 8K TV as well. There is gonna be more details and spec on these TVs in the coming days, but we're probably not gonna see the pricing for a few months. OLED 4K TV might be the king of contrast and deep black, but there is one area that they've always been behind, and it is the brightness. But with new Sony A90J TVs, they claim to have the brightest OLED TV on the market. To hit a higher peak brightness, the Sony A90J features a new aluminum sheet lamination that essentially acts as a heat sink for the TV. With this extra cooling capability, Sony was able to implement a new type of OLED panel that can display more light by activating all of its white, red, blue and green elements at the same time. Most OLED screens are designed to only display either a pure white backlight or a mix of colors from the RGB hues. By eliminating the OLED screen's entire WRGB spectrum, Sony tells us its new flagship TV is significantly brighter. Another effect of this greater brightness is expanded color volume, so expect a more vibrant screen as well. The Sony A90J also features a new processor that enhances sound and picture using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Picture enhancement can mean everything from 4K upscaling to improved sharpness. Meanwhile, this processor can generate object tracking sound and 3D sound. Like all of Sony's 2021 TVs, the A90J features a new UI built on Google TV rather than the Android TV that has been used for the last few years. The new OS brings a greater focus to content rather than apps, though you can still download all of the favorite streaming and gaming apps. Last but not the least, the Sony A90J also comes equipped with a new light and color sensor that adjusts the brightness and warmth of the picture depending on the ambient lighting conditions. And Sony plans announcing availability and price for their new A90J TVs later this spring. And for now, let's go ahead and check out what LG has in store and what they have brought to the CES 2021. Just like Sony, LG is planning to bring their new OLED panels that's gonna be brighter and that's gonna have a more vibrant colors. LG has announced a new G1 series with OLED EVA technology that promises to deliver greater luminosity for a brighter picture with more vibrant colors. The new LG G1 series is also an elegantly thin panel display, making it perfect for wall mounting. Alternatively, this 4K TV also comes with a standing tripod base, so it can stand at the eye level without the need of TV cancel. On top of announcing a new series of screens, LG has also updated its flagship CX series with a new C1 series. Whereas last year LG announced a compact 48-inch option to act as a gaming monitor, this year there is a new 83-inch version for the users looking for the biggest OLED screen possible. LG's 2021 TVs also come with a new bag of gaming tricks, including a 1 millisecond response time and low input lag. There's also a new game optimizer that applies the best picture quality depending on the type of games you're playing, while also placing all the game-related settings in one place. LG TVs also come with a G-Sync, FreeSync and variable refresh rate support. Both the new G1 and C1 series TVs come fitted with an Alpha 9 Gen 4 AI processor for deep learning enhanced sound and audio. AI Picture Pro removes noises and optimizes picture quality, and it can use scene detection to improve picture quality based on the scenes you're watching. AI Sound Pro adds virtual 5.1.2 surround sound to boost the quality of LG TV speakers. 
So yeah, this is all the TV news from the CES 2021. I might have missed something. Let me know in the comment section below if I have missed anything. And I hope you guys find this interesting and helpful. If you do, please give it a like. Take a second to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I appreciate guys very much all your support. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.